Welcome to Catch a Can. This is Alaska's first city and the salmon capital of the world. This is my first time back in Alaska for two years and I'm really happy to be here. I absolutely love Alaska and Ketchikan is one of my very favorite ports. So today I'm going to take you around the town of Ketchikan, so you so, show you some of my highlights, the top things to do and my top tips and then we're going to go on tour. we got three Holland America ships today and a Norwegian one. So it goes all the way down here so you might be in any of these docks. It's right next to everything. You've got shops and we've got the beautiful statue, the rock, about the settlers here. And this is a visitor center right next to where all the ships dock. It looks like this, you have visitor information, information on tours, uh, local attractions. Uh, it's a good place to pick up a map. It's right next to the ship. There's a lot of great shopping in Ketchikan, some specialty things. There's a lot of diamond stores and there's a lot of fur from different animals that live here. Also, there's a lot of local art galleries with clinket art. Another great souvenir here are these weaving things. The boots are fantastic. Down near the water, you've got Salmon Landing Marketplace. This is a great place for shopping. There's loads of stores in here. There's also lots of restaurants, places for souvenirs, and local food, and some bars. That's right next to the Alaska Fish House. Also a nice spot for seafood, and you get great views of the water. The harbor is just past the Fish House, and this is where all the local small boats would be. Another one of my absolute favorite things to do in Ketchikan is go to the Lumberjack Show. The Great Alaskan Lumberjack Show is right on the water and there's a little shop in there. Uh, they normally do three shows a day. Today they're at 8, 15, 11 and 3.30. So it's a rowdy fun show. You've got professional ath athletes, lumberjacks. They'll be competing against each other. Uh, it's loads of fun and you can even get your picture taken with one of the not too shabby looking lumberjacks at the end if you like. Now there is a totem park just out of town, but if you're in town, check out the Raven Stealing the Sun totem pole, which is right next to the entrance of Creek Street. And right next door to that, we have the Tongass Historical Museum, which tells you all about the history of the Tongass Forest. And you can get information in here, see the exhibits. And right outside it, we have the bus stop, which takes you out of town, out to the totem park, um, and also out to Walmart if you need anything practical too. The Tongass National Forest Visitor Center is also in town where you can see some of the exhibits. There's movies on the nature here uh, about the landscape, the people of Tongass, and also there's some local guided tours that go from here. Now one spot not to be missed in Ketchikan is Creek Street. It's just at the back of downtown, so it's behind where the ship is. It's really not far, you can see. And come along here, this is awesome. This is where you can find loads of shops with souvenirs, with local arts, and most importantly, salmon. And they do samplings everywhere. This is a great place to come visit. This is where all the salmon would come upstream. So if you're here at the right time of year, you will see this river absolutely teeming with salmon. As you walk along Creek Street, look out for signs on the buildings because there's a rich history here. You go past the Preacher's House, you've got Dolly's House, and then even 20 Creek Street here is where Beatrice Green, the last working woman of the town lived. So keep an eye out for the signs as you go along and you'll learn all about the history of Ketchikan. And you can go up Cape Fox Hill from Creek Street, a little cable car that takes you right to the top of the hill. Something else you can do in Creek Street is take a tour of Dolly's house where both men and salmon came upstream to spawn. You can do the red light tour there. And this is a great place to get salmon, simply salmon, and they even ship it. So when you come inside, you're greeted by lovely owners and you can have some samples. This is Sokai salmon, this one is my favorite. And there's lots of different ones to try. You can have salmon spread and you can get it vacuum packed. There's salmon jerky, uh, all sorts of salmon. This is Linda at Simply Salmon. Come see us down here on the creek. A new find for me in this time is this. It's a cabaret bar. Creek Street Cabaret, they have live music all day long. So they've got a live trio. So if you fancy some live music in port, it's a good place to go. Ketchikan is a great place to eat. There are fantastic things to try here. Very local specialties. This is one of them. This is Orca Corn. It is Alaska's finest gourmet popcorn. I can say it is very delicious. It's right across from the ship. And my favorite is the caramel crisp. 
You have to try some salmon when you're here. It is the salmon capital of the world. The salmon market is the first place nearest to the ship where you can buy all kinds of salmon, all five types. And they have lots of samples. Another great place to eat in Ketchikan is Ketchikandis. The store's moved location is now by side Wells Fargo. A homemade chocolate, and my favorite thing is the chocolate dipped Oreos. After you come out of the tunnel, going to the left from the ships, you see Burger Queen. Best burgers in Alaska. You can see more about this in my food guides. Right after Burger Queen, there's one of my, well, my favorite bar in Ketchikan is the Asylum. Wi-Fi, drinks, and you can even get your Burger Queen delivered from next door right here to eat it. A great place to go for lunch in Ketchikan is the Asian Garden Sushi Bar. They have nice sushi, everything's made with local seafood, and my favorite thing they have on the menu is monkey brain, which is avocado with crab in the middle and deep fried. It's delicious. If you need Wi-Fi, there's lots of spots. Um, pretty much all the restaurants and bars have it. Also Alaska Coffee. Uh, which has seating out back and internet whenever you buy something. Another place to look out for for crew is a crew shop crewman. Uh, you can transfer money here, send money home, and uh, they have a shop with lots of goodies um, from different countries and internet. So am I doing my absolute favorite tour in Ketchikan now? This is the Bering Sea Crab Fisherman Tour or the Deadliest Catch Tour. We're out on the Aleutian Ballad. This is um, my seventh time on this tour. I love it. I do it every single time I come to Alaska. And I'm here with a bunch of friends today, which is fantastic. We're out on the sea. It's an incredibly beautiful day. In the town that rains 300 days a year, we've got the best weather possible. And we're going out, we're going fishing. So now we've got a starfish that's eating a prawn. It's right in the middle there. That's his mouth and his butt. And you can see his tentacles, his little legs moving. Oh, we've got an Alaskan king crab, the best one. Oh, all right, let's see how many we got this time. Here they go. Well, that's not what I was after. That is the giant Pacific octopus. I know that guy's not much of a giant, but that is the species of octopus this is. These things are everywhere in this bay. So this is the seventh time I've done this tour, and this is the most, uh, most eagles I've ever seen. It's incredible. <gasps> There's so many. Awesome day in Ketchikan, running around town, going on my favorite tour, Bering Sea Crab Fisherman's Tour. Uh, thanks to everyone in Ketchikan. We'll see you next time. Bye.